homeowner reaches out to us with his concerns about how a neighborhood improvement project would take away some of his land. He lives in the Berkeley Gardens neighborhood in Adams County, near 53rd and Grove Street. That's near Regis University. He reached out to our Olivia Young, who covers Adams County for us, and she looked into that situation. Adams County wants to make big improvements to this neighborhood's infrastructure and drainage, but some residents say the toll is too high. From here over and then from here back. Adams County resident Raphael Crater is preparing for his yard to shrink. It's just a little upsetting. The Berkeley Gardens neighborhood is the site of a $16.8 million neighborhood improvement project focusing on roadway drainage and pedestrian improvements. We're going to do curb, gutter, sidewalks, and also make sure that it's ADA compliant. The county will need to acquire property from 250 residents, including Crater. There's going to be 211 foot of five and a half foot wide sidewalk, which I'll now be responsible for maintaining. Crater, who is a disabled veteran, is concerned about having to shovel snow and losing his fence and trees. My concern is it's really going to encroach on my property. An additional temporary 10 foot construction easement will bring the county's acquisition five feet from Crater's home, which is going to be a little jarring. Uh, my fence is coming out. I've got to figure out what to do with my dogs. Power poles will also have to be moved. Crater worries about the traffic, noise, and inability to landscape his property during construction. So yes, there will be some minor disruption, but we're going to look at the long-term effects and quality of life for our residents. The county will pay property owners for the acquisition. For Crater, that number is estimated at 42,000, including damages. The land's really worth quite a bit more than what they want to say that it's worth, in my opinion. Adams County has conducted appraisals and plans to sit down with each impacted resident before acquiring the land. We have modified our design standards in order not to have such a significant impact on the residents. Still, Crater wants more communication and understanding from the county. Fair is fair and right is right. You know, I just want to know that the decisions I'm making are as informed as they can be. The county will hold a meeting to listen to resident concerns on November 30th. They hope to break ground on this project in 2025 and wrap it up the same year. In Adams County, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First. Olivia, thank you. That homeowner reached out to Olivia because she covers everything going on in Adams County. You can share your story ideas if you live in Adams County by calling Olivia at 303-863-TIPS or through CBSColorado.com.